Hey, what's going on guys? Sean here, living the corporate pilot life. I got a Tech Tuesday video for you guys on something that I have not shown before. For those of you that have followed me for a little while, you probably already know that I do not fly Embraer products, not because I have some moral or ethical obligation to it, I just haven't had the opportunity yet. But I'm here with a couple friends of mine who do fly the Embraer, and particularly the uh, Legacy 600, which is sitting behind me, and so they're showing me some stuff that I didn't know about, so I'm guessing you guys probably don't either. One thing that they were showing me is this cool thing uh, called the direct measuring sticks to check the fuel on these airplanes in the event that you lose your ICAS system for measuring fuel inside the cockpit. In the Gulfstream world, like that doesn't happen. If you lose your ICAS system, you're, you're kind of screwed. So um, Embraer has thought this one out, obviously, and they allow us to check the fuel directly in the tanks. It kind of sounds like dipping tanks in a, in a Cessna or something like that, but a little slightly more high tech than that. So I'm gonna come under here and I'm gonna show you a little bit of what it looks like. We do need a screwdriver to make this happen, so let's check it out. All right, here it is. There's a little, uh, little dot up here and it says unlocked and locked. So if we take a screwdriver and stick it in here, we drop it out, we get this little stick that pops out. Um, and it's got all these hash marks and numbers on it. And, uh, and what we can do is we can look at this and right now the tank is empty, so that's why it's showing zero. So we would go into the next one inboard and we would see how much that one shows. That one is also empty at the, mean, at the uh, particular time right now. So it's not gonna show anything. But let's say this stick stopped like right there at the two number as an example. Now we can go into the aircraft flight manual and see exactly how much fuel that equates to uh, in the wings. But like I said, right now, they're empty, not gonna have anything in it. So uh, with that then, you can know how much fuel is in the airplane. We could then take off, go fly, and be very precise on our fuel management to make sure we don't burn too much, given the amount that we currently have. Uh, because again, you wouldn't be able to monitor the fuel while we were in flight. So I'm not in love with that idea of taking off and not knowing how much fuel I have while I'm still flying. Let's say you had a fuel leak or something like that, so your, your burn is not gonna be accurate. I don't love that, but apparently they've thought this through enough to where you could get somewhere with a, a failed uh, fuel indicating system to get it repaired. So it makes sense to me. I, I like it. It's uh, not something I've ever used before. So something a little bit new. Hopefully you guys like it. Uh, definitely give me the thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you guys think. If there's something else that you guys want to see on these Embraer products, I probably don't know it exists either on that. So give me a shout out. Let me know what you guys think. Till then, we'll see you guys on the next one. Keep living the corporate pilot life.